Hello and welcome to Capacity TV. Uh, we're joined today by Pedro and Ignacio from Telefonica to talk security. So guys, the first question I have for you is, can a telco provide security beyond the network security itself? On, on the first point that we can uh, mention on, on, on the network is that Telefonica and all the telcos are well positioned in the, uh, in the network. So security, it's uh, something that from the network and also in the network could be uh, provide to a lot of customers. But in addition to that, uh, all the telcos, we have been a critical asset that uh, we need to protect since a lot of years. So we know about security since more than 20 years ago. So this is something that we are in a good position and also we are in a, in, in a very good move on providing these type of services because we know security from a long time. In addition to that, one of the things that uh, a telco has is capillarity. So we can provide services for ourselves, also we can provide services to enterprises, SMBs, Soho. This is something that uh, due, to, due to this capillarity, we can provide these type of services very, very, very well. Yeah, well, and in addition to that, we can provide security to consumers, not only enterprises and Soho, and we can provide uh, security services to, to end users. Which is very important as the Internet of Things is bearing down upon us. Um, what were the key challenges that uh, a telco faces when exploring security services as a potential new solution set? Well, we, we think that there is three main challenges. The first of all is that um, I think that telcos must embrace uh, the security as a value, as a, as a core value of their value proposition. Uh, one of the questions that you m may ask to your uh, to a telco, and to know if, uh, with the answer, if this telco, it's uh, embrace or not the security as a core value, is how many teams are in charge of the internal and external security. If the answer is uh, two, this telco never embrace the the security as a core value. If the answer is one, and they provide the same security to internal and external customers, then this, uh, this uh, telco embraces the security as a core value. The second question is, we think that monetization is a need. Okay? We, are, uh, we are fighting against uh, uh, an, an, uh, an industry that is a cyber crime, an industry that invests thousands of dollars to uh, earn money. If we do not know how to monetize uh, the security itself, it's, it will be very hard to compete against them. And the third question is tel telco industry movement, that is to, to make a collaboration among each other. Okay? I think in, in this question, the, the competitors are in the dark side, okay? and, and tel telcos must collaborate each other to, to, to share knowledge, uh, technologies, uh, practices, etc. It's important, it's very, very important on the telco side to uh, reinforce this uh, issue because Collaboration between telcos uh, is something that uh, has been, you know, during a lot of time. But uh, on the security side, we have, uh, as Telefonica, we are members of the Cyber Threat Alliance in the U.S. We, we are members of also in some groups in ETIS. Or there are forums also like the ITW, very good places to share security information and also to share some of the knowledge that we have in security. Because at the end, the bad guys, they share a lot of information and we need to to do our homework. What do you consider to be the role of international wholesalers in this security question? Well, it's, uh, for sure it's a great opportunity. Okay? Nobody in the telco industry talks to telco every day with uh, hundreds of them, but a wholesaler. Unknown in the telco industry are able to deliver value along the, all the telco value chain, but a wholesaler. And we think that a wholesaler can become the catalyzer of the security among all the telco industry. In, in Telefonica Business Solutions, that is the B2B Telefonica division, we help uh, nine operators in different markets to become local security champion and to, to deliver a, 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 a full and comprehensive uh, portfolio of products to their customers. And hopefully during this year, we will double this figure and deliver uh, this uh, in, in the five continents. So I think that wholesalers can play a very good role on security. And tell me more about Telco for Telco. Telco for Telco is, is, is not a destination, it's a journey. It's a journey that starts a few years ago with some of the Telefonica partners. And well, we start to share best practices, share information, share 
platforms, uh, start to co-invest in companies, start to co-develop products. And right now we are, we are very proud that a lot of uh, telcos understood that uh, collaboration is the best way to, to deliver the security products to, to end customers, that we share the same DNA and, and well, it's, a, it's an opportunity to, to, to capture. It's a blue ocean for all of us. So the, the thing at, at the end with uh, Telco for Telco is all the wholesalers, we can provide some security services between all the telcos because we, we demonstrate during the last years that we have been working with uh, all the telcos and we, we, make, uh, we work as a team in order to provide some services to customers. And at the end, we, are, we have the economies of scale, we have you know, the, capa the capillarity that is extended be between uh, you know, the local companies and the wholesalers. And this is something that is really, really important for security because understanding the security as a local company and also a global company is key. So we normally try, we, we used to say that uh, the best player for security is the local company. So the one that adds, sure. you know, local, but also things global. What is Telefonica's strategy around security, taking into account uh, the different levels of digital readiness in the market that you operate in? Uh, that's a very good question, and, and also is why we create the 11 Path brand. It's, uh, 11 Path is the brand that we use for security worldwide in Telefonica. So one of the main things that we need to understand is, first of all, is the maturity. So you are a telco, first of all, you need to protect your assets. In addition to that, you need to protect your critical assets. In addition to that, you can provide basic security services. On top of that, you can become the uh, security leader in your country. And at the end, you, you can play for being a global player. So maturity is very important. You can try to be a global company and, the sec and a security leader if you don't do your homework before. So this is one, one of the key issues on, on, on our strategy. The second thing is, at the end, we are a telco, and we are proud of being a telco. And we don't try to be a different company. We are a telco, and then if we sell security and we provide security to our customers, the first thing is we are a telco, we provide pipes, so we provide clean pipes. We, we provide also data centers, so we provide secure uh, cloud services. So this is the long-hanging fruit that we can provide. So the security for the typical products that we, that we sell and the typical products that we have. Uh, additionally, we have uh, the MANA security ser services. The MANA security services in, in a telco are the evolution of the network operations center that now we have capabilities to provide security operations center. So these, these services that are recurrent, we can provide to a lot of customers. And finally, and this is uh, why we are embracing the Lemon Path brand, is because also you need to provide innovation. And security innovation is key because the bad guys, they are innovating every day with new attacks and techniques. And for this reason, innovation is key. And uh, for this reason, we, we create the uh, separate unit just to ensure that we innovate in security. And this is the third point that we embrace uh, the most, just to ensure that we provide this uh, innovation every day. Well, Pedro Ignacio, thank you very much for coming in to discuss security today. It's something that we'll be covering in a lot more detail and capacity over the coming months. Thank you very much. That's Capacity TV. Goodbye.